So even amid this pandemic, there are some brands out there throwing giant V8s into their cars, supercharged or even just naturally aspirated. Yes, and twin turbocharged inline sixes all across the way with gas engines. More on all that, and all that good stuff here on this episode of Gulf Coast Gearheads. So the first one we're going to talk about, this is crazy, and I think it was honestly well overdue. Uh, Ram has officially announced the release of the Ram TRX. Or T-Rex. <laughs> well, we were getting to that. You, you, wait, you ruined it for me. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't hold it in. Like it's just, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so right now it is confirmed that they're going to be dropping a Hellcat powertrain into a Ram. So I think... The only thing that's left, and I think they've already announced it too, was they're going to put in the Durango. So I think that yeah. has officially got all of the Dodge products <laughs> They covered. covered their bases. <laughs> <laughs> we're good now. Whew. You know, they, they were itching and scratching, waiting for it to put in everything. They're like, okay, we'll just do it. But In that FCA marketing meeting, they're like, all right, we need something lively and something that'll compete with Ford and Chevy. Put a Hellcat motor in it. Great idea, John. We'll just That's uh, like the seventh time you've told us. It still works. He's like, hey, do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but just like Jacob was saying earlier, I don't think there is any way or, or any coincidence that they call it the TRX because it also T-Rex. Watch out for they're going after the Raptor, so just bigger and better. But I mean, to their defense, it it will have the 700 plus horsepower. Yeah. And the Raptor right now only does about uh, low to mid 400s. So I don't think we're seeing it yet. Yes, and the T-Rex will have as our favorite eight cylinders as opposed to the six that the the latest generation Raptor right. does. So. so missing a few cylinders there. Yeah. But that's super exciting. I can't wait to hear it because I know the only other thing that's that Ford has that competes with it and they don't make very many of them is the F-150 Shelby Super Snake. Oh, and, and that is a ridiculous price tag on that vehicle. <laughs> yeah, which I'm hoping, as a side note, I hope that the TRX comes out, and I hope it's below 100, because I just don't see it existing, especially no. during these times where uh, money's a little more tight and new cars are more expensive. It's got to be south of 100, because I just don't expect anybody well, buying a truck, especially in that market, they're not going to be willing to spend that. Like what you just said, how many Shelby Super Snake trucks do you see driving around? I have seen about three in my entire life. Yeah, not very many. I used to see one often at my brother's tailgating games in football because one of his teammates' dads had one, so I'd see it every other week. Coincidence. Coincidence, you know, but <laughs> outside of that, that's the only one I've seen. Maybe one in a coffee and cars parking lot. So if it's like a $100,000 Hellcat truck, you, you're going to see not very many. Right. People will probably be more apt to spend it on getting a demon. Yeah. Or something, uh, something else. Yeah. But um, also in the same brand, what do we got going on there? So Jeep has recently put on their social media just like a leaked photo of what appears to be the front end of a Wrangler or could be a Gladiator with the numbers 392 on the hood, which is, if you don't know, the 392 is the cubic inch of what the Scat Pack and the SRT engines mm -hmm. have, which is their 6.4 liter V8. So that's the step below the Hellcat. Hellcat's the 6.2 supercharged, the SRT's, Scat Packs, all that is a 392 6.4 liter V8 naturally aspirated. I mean, in the exhaust notes, we already know what that 392 oh, makes. <laughs> I was this close to buying one, guys. This close. <laughs> now, I think that just gives people that didn't already have one reason, 392 more reasons to go get a Jeep Wrangler. Or, like he said, Gladiator. It hasn't been confirmed. It's been put on their social media, so it's kind of yeah. still up in the air. Yeah. Could be just Jeep trolling us, and with the, the Bronco has released their, here's what's going on with the new Bronco video. Right. Good timing, Jeep. We see what you did there. They've probably been sitting on that one for a while. They got that. They were warming that egg up and trying to let it hatch at the right time. <laughs> Same marketing meeting we mentioned earlier. They're like, oh, the Bronco's coming out. What do we do? 
Put a 6-4 Hemi in it. Like, oh, great idea. Put a Hellcat. That's too big. <laughs> uh, 392. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> Nobody will buy that, you idiot. Oh, the, no supercharger then. That's it. Reliability, who cares? That's fast. Yeah, yeah that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably the same marketing meeting where we got the TRX out of. Who knows? Yeah. But we'll see I what happens. I still think it's super exciting. I mean, yeah. Who cares? Might as well go full fledged, throw V8s and everything. Well, they just released the, they had mentioned that the Gladiator is going to get the eco diesel engine in it. And so if mm -hmm. that comes out in this, I wouldn't be surprised to see a sixty, sixty-five thousand dollars price tag on whatever Jeep you could buy this in. I guess in all, in all seriousness, I do want to know what more climbing capabilities the 392 would yeah. offer because I know right now, <laughs> Nobody's climbing with a Challenger or a Charger. They're meant for the drag strip. You sure? That's a <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen one. I'm not going to count it out. I mean, they got some awful things on Google Images looking up. Probably lifted Challengers. <laughs> They're probably going to be bad nightmares out there. But um, or dreams. Outside of FCA and you know the Fiat Chrysler situation, all those V8s, I do think there is some good news on the fronts of Toyota. Yes. So. In the 2020 model, people were dogging it about how it didn't have enough horsepower because it's competition back in the 90s, like the GTRs and the NSXs, they basically become supercars now. But you still have a zero to 60 of just below four seconds with the 2021 model. We got a pretty nice power bump, but we've been seeing rumors about Gazoo Racing, which is one of Toyota's racing divisions, uh, coming out with a GRMN. So if you want any more German, German jokes about the Toyota Supra and its <laughs> Z4, you know, heritage or yeah. inheritance from the German company, um, it stands for Gazoo Racing Meister of Nuremberg. So it's like not German, but German. Yeah, basically, <laughs> it's like we're not fully German, but we're gonna have some German in there. So. so, so big point here is they're talking about this car having 500 plus horsepower. Yes. So Beastly Supra. You're talking about a Toyota 911 uh, Turbo S or whatever. Like Basically. This is going to be a beast of a car. And like Jacob was already talking about, we picked on the Supra. I mean, you guys probably have too. But it's actually a really quick car. And I'm assuming that if they're going to put 500 horsepower into this bad boy, I'm thinking this 0-60 to 60 is going to be south three seconds. This is going to be yeah, some oh, demon territory. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be some serious racing like Porsche 911 GT3 level. Yeah. And like I said earlier, when you compare it to, you know, the last generation of the Supra, what it was going up against in the 90s and stuff, and then now the new GTR and the new NSX, those are supercars, and the Supra is still a sports car, not a supercar. Right. And people were picking on it, like, oh man, Supra, you know, this is this is sad. Well, then Supra's like, you know, we're tired of being bullied. How about 500 horsepower? <laughs> Like, finally! You know. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's pretty big rumored that right now. Hopefully by the time this video we release it on the YouTube, we'll have some more information on it. it hopefully the rumor does come true because that this would be pretty sick. Yeah, see one of the coffee and cars near you when that happens. Oh, but. yes. So yeah, guys, I mean, that, that really sums it up. I think if you guys have any other really cool cars or engine options that are happening right now in the car industry, go ahead and let us know what you guys have heard or seen. Go ahead and let us know in the comment section and in, on, on any of our social medias. We really appreciate you guys, you know, interacting with us. We're out here, you know, grinding, trying to make us do better and better each day. But as always, down below, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to look. We'll let you guys know whenever there's new content available, you guys yeah. can keep up to date with it. So without further ado, that's Gulf Coast Gearhead signing off.